built into with the fast car you know caged and all that we're taking this one first because it's the easiest to get to as you saw we've also got a uh, Cordoba kind of half built into a hit the passer and we got a Buick over there we'll get into later but for now we we'll dig into this guy and, you know supposedly it was just driven and parked here and uh, you know, all we should need to do is toss a battery in here and this thing will hopefully fire right up. You might slosh some uh, fuel down the carburetor. Um, you know, hopefully there's still something in the tank that'll burn that's not complete varnish. But I've already pulled the dipstick and she's got some oil in it. And uh, that's really as far as I'm going to go. I'm going to gamble on this and just chuck the battery right on in there. So. Yeah, let's do it. So yeah, let's do it. Today's version is the uh, ever reliable Marine EverStart battery. Because, well, I just winterized my travel trailer and it was the easiest to get to. You know, we might need some of this deep cycle to get this thing crank. Hey Frankie, where's those keys at? It's all right here. <laughs> Frankie's just moving a branch. It's pretty giant. It's almost <laughs> half a tree. As you can see, uh, <laughs> there's a big branch growing under the car as well that hopefully we can drive around to get out of here. Frankie's just trying to air up the tires. Um, yeah. Just gonna go toss one of these keys in the ignition what happens. Oh, you got some power. <laughs> See your wipers wiping. <laughs> Dump some gas in the carbon, we might just be in business yeah. here. Yeah, I'd say so. That, that was pretty nice. See, uh, yeah, we're not locked up or nothing. Well, let me get a little cup or something for you to put this gas in so you don't yeah. have to dump the whole gas can right in there. Um, we might as well see this coffee can here. Up. 
Yeah, our throttle linkage is free. Probably way too much. Did you pour a lot in? Maybe we'll see some flames. <laughs> Can we pour a little more in? Yeah, well here I'll do the next one. Sure. How easy was that? The dash lights up and everything. I don't know why the wipers are coming on. I can't find the stick. Can we pour a little more in? Because you don't want to flood it. Yeah, it's. We know it runs. Uh, just. It says it's empty. I don't know. I might do a couple more of those. Just just see if it does pull something from the tank and maybe run on its own. Um, I can try and fill the actual float bowl on this. You know, it's pretty wet around here right now. Small fires are fun. Hey, there is a fire extinguisher in that other car. We need it. <laughs> All right, we'll give her a little extra. When you're holding the throttle in, that it kept its position. I wasn't good. even holding it. I well, just, that was just that it's buttering off the it gas. Just, it, had. It, it literally idles on its own. So you didn't even push on the gas yet? Not this time, no. The first time I did. Oh, yeah. I feel like that time, if you would have, it would have just gone. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't shut it off. It died on its own there. Like, it's. I don't think it's quite picking up fuel yet on its own. The little fancy lights um, closed on their own. Oh, did they? Just randomly. Oh. As soon as it started idling a bit. Oh, that's awesome. It actually runs really nice. These old 70s big blocks, they got a crap load of vacuum hoses everywhere. Even a little filter on here. Dry rotted. Dang, I think this thing's got cruise control. Look, it's got like a look at this chain, Frankie. That's how you did this the cruise is, control in the day. It must be. It's like an old toilet chain, though. Dude, <laughs> I wonder if you can use some cruise control out on the hit to pass track. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That'll be funny. That is hilarious. Okay, I pulled off. That fuel line. Maybe want you go in there and turn the key. Yeah. Should I pump the gas out? No, the you don't need to at all. Don't even touch the gas. I was gonna see if anything pumps out of this other fuel line. 
Hit it with a rock or a hammer. <laughs> I do have a hammer, I think. Yeah, maybe go get your Tonya Harding. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> Tonya Harding. <laughs> probably could use a decent length of fuel line. Well, go hit it again. I'll just see. Maybe I didn't have it tight enough. Okay, keep going. Coming out of that tank, I mean, it feels, it smells more like water than fuel, and and we've tried pouring some of it right down the carb, and it won't even light off with that. So we've plugged off the main fuel system, and we've rigged up another one here with a little clickety clack electric pump, and we're gonna try and fire it off on this, and see what happens. We have to just dump that primer in there. Go for it.
So there we go, the car moved, um, however that's as far as it was going, and then I uh, seem to have lost training, so we're going to pull the dipstick here and have a look. Yeah, we don't have training for the other but if it's that simple, at least you know that's all we need for it. It's like not even registering. Yeah, it's pretty low and that's with the car off. All right guys, well while I'm waiting on Frankie to go pick up some tranny fluid for the Lincoln here, I am going to dig into the Cordoba a bit here, see if I can get it to crank over. And I was also just thinking maybe I should check in the trunk for the Continental, you know, it might even have some tranny fluid in there if this has been an issue. Let's see, I think I got that other key in my pocket. Doesn't this move or something? Yeah. How about that? Oh, an empty bottle of ATF. Wouldn't you know it? Yeah, that's about all we got in there. Um, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Let's pretty nasty. But it is there's something in there. Something in there. Grab the belt. Make it move. Whoa. Oh. It's turning over. Look at that. Okay. So she's not completely seized inside there. Yeah. Taking a closer look inside the Cordoba here, and there is a lot of <coughs> poo on the floor. That really stinks. Oh! Once you get in there, like it is thick. <coughs> it's, just, it's fucking I, bullshit. Like I think I just got COVID. <laughs> Looks like there's a spot over there for a battery behind the seat. So I'm going to give that a shot. I don't even know how I'm going to tell which is positive and which is negative. Well, I don't know if you can hear that clicking on camera, but it appears the uh, starter solenoid's clicking. She's just not wanting to uh, kick over, unfortunately. This one's got a trans fluid in it. Oh yeah, lots. At least it's got that going for it. For those of you just tuning in, this is a Chrysler Cordoba. Got 360 under the hood, and just trying to figure out if we can get this thing to crank over on its own. It's, uh, I really don't want to crawl under there, and start trying to jump the starter. It's looking like that may be the only option we have. Well, let me go. Let me go wiggle on the keys some more. You guys tell me if anything happens.
brakes work and everything. Like, yeah, let's get, we can put this other F. Yeah, this car has hydro boost. Like, there's not even a vacuum booster. No big deal. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. No big thing. Okay, buddy. Well, that was the nicest Jimmy Rick fuel cell that we've rigged up in the last while. <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy. Hey, we did pretty good. She's right where it needs to be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. For not being able to see where I'm going, that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll charge these power packs back up for tomorrow and uh, yeah. call another one of these out of here. Alrighty. Yeah, you got to really the folks show, on show YouTube. that sweet fuel cell that we just rigged up. You with Continental. A power pack and a power pack. pack. To run a little clickety clack fuel pump that's spraying everywhere. We plugged off the factory fuel line because it's basically just water and horse piss. But she will run. Yeah. Look at that. The car smells like a bingo hall on the 4th of July. <laughs> uh, she's got a little rust. Yeah, we're going to load up and hit the road. Tune in next time while we uh, get the other two running.